just received free to make a video and to check out myself from Thermal Master is the P2 Pro, world's smallest thermal camera. A little tiny device, and I'll show you, which will plug directly into the bottom of your Android phone via USB-C or with the supplied cable if you have a case that it doesn't fit on. And a lot of possibilities with something like this. You may say, well, why wouldn't I just use a free app? There's a lot of free apps on the store, Eric. Why buy a camera? There's a lot of things you can do on this that you can't do with an app, such as adding points for a large scale wall of equipment and adding points to see different um, temperatures and, and readings within a 20 foot wall. If you took a picture of that and save it for future. Also, you know, uh, up to 100 and uh, up to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit at 600 degrees Celsius. Magnetic micro lens, uh, macro lens for looking at micro small circuits in case you're looking at something with traces or circuit boards, PCBs. 15 times digital zoom, 0 0.3 watt power consumption. So it's not drawing a lot from your phone at all. A free software analysis with Razer AI image algorithm. I want to show you this. I think this is really, really neat. Not paid for this video at all. Sent to this for free. Actually, they sent them a month ago and asked for a video a long time ago. I got sick. I was out of town working, so I apologize for the delay. It's been over a month since I've received this. That's my fault. But um, the links are in the description where you, should, where you can buy it. And I think this is really neat. So I'm going to show you I have two phones here. I'm going to be using not my um, phone I use now, but my old phone. And that's because... Um, I have the software on both of them, but this case, okay, it doesn't fit on this case, but they do give you a cord for that situation, okay? So here's here's the USB-C to female USB if you needed to use that because I'll show you this little tiny device here, okay? Little tiny device. Look at the size of this. It's like the size of a quarter, real small, right? And here's the ma uh, macro lens, magnetic macro lens here. And that will simply whoop, put right on. And now you can use this for small circuits. Take the lens off. Look at up close for PCB boards or, or whatever. Whenever you need to look at something in a very small uh, situation or small scenario. And like I said, but not a big deal. If, if, uh, if it won't fit on this phone because of that case, there's my case there. Right, I'll use the other phone for an example, but you could use the cord. So you could plug this into the cord like this. Now you can plug this into your phone. Okay, and the cool thing is when you do that, it automatically loads the app when it sees, okay? automatically loads it. You wanna open it up? Yes, and there it is. So we're gonna talk about this app. I wanna show you footage first on what I've done um, with this for an example to show you at work a battery plant. You know, the, the, the one thing that would be, a couple things that would be useful for a thermal camera. Well, anything that is arcing, sparking, or not connected properly, or excessive current drain creates heat. You ever melted a plug by plugging in too many extension cords or Christmas lights? Well, that's because there was too much current on a wire that couldn't supply it, or not enough contact, surface contact, on that outlet, and in turn, causes a fire or melting. What I use this for, and I have a big fluke, a, a real big fluke inf infrared gun, but carrying something like that around for that cost is definitely not as efficient and quick as having something like this, okay? Of course, yeah, fluke is a good brand, great brand. But having some great big thing like this just to find little things on a circuit board may not be practical, okay? Um, and, and like I said, uh, I'm gonna show you some, some footage on here. I use this for a battery plant or several battery plants. What happens when you're drawing excessive current uh, from a battery plant and you don't have contacts that are torqued down to, to, to spec and they're loose? You could have a little bit of arcing between the gap. What does that do? It causes heat and it starts arcing away at the metal just like circuit breakers. Circuit breakers, if you're not rated for the proper circuit breaker or you're drawing too much electricity through that circuit, it will cause excessive heat. That looks like this on a thermal camera. You can see that the HVAC breaker was white. That was really, really hot, drawing a lot of current from an AC that was overrated for an underrated breaker. That's how I found that. But let's go ahead and show you some footage I took with this. And the cool thing is you can directly record from this onto your phone 
and it puts it right into the gallery so that I could take images with different points I'll show you and say, well, here, here was the circle here, here was my square, here's all my points, take a snapshot, email it, text it to whoever, and have all that for um, you know uh, research purposes or make a video, like such like I'm doing right now. Pretty cool, I can record video with this. So you can see the heat of my laptop here compared to something like the air conditioner. You know, black here, blowing cold. Orange indicating hot. Auto calibrates too, as you move to different areas. Like here's a breaker panel. So looking at breaker panels, you can kind of see where there would be excessive heat behind a breaker. Like this is your main breaker here. And um, if you had something arcing or hot, for instance, this is the uh, HVAC breaker here. It's got a pretty heavy load on it, but it's not uh, white. I could show you an image uh, of what that would look like should you have a breaker that is, you know, arcing inside and creating heat. Anything that has heat indicates you could have a potential electrical issue. You know, um, there's an outlet right here. And this outlet has a uh, surge protector in it, right? And you can see, that's screwed in there, but you can see that the, the part on the top here, which may be the, up here, the uh, surge protector unit, pretty warm in there. You would think there's nothing really that should be anything warm in there, you know? Outlet, cool. Light switch, cool. All right. Then over here, you know, there's a DC, uh, AC, DC power supply. That's pretty warm inside. All right. So, um, and of course, you can see the AC up here in black. Auto range here. I mean, that's cold, blowing cold right there. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. The none of the terminals are white. Um, with the battery plant like this for solar energy or uh, equipment running on a plant like this no hot spots means good you would see the terminals would have a bright white which would indicate arcing under a heavy load so here you can see in the house here look at the the heat that is behind my uh, the peak of the ceiling there so there's a tv Red hot from the attic, that's the other attic entrance. Look at the heat, and you can see, uh, there's the cold from the air conditioner, right? Cold. Look up here in the kitchen, you can see where the cold air is blowing, right? So you can see your, your vents and which way the, the air is moving. Um, but look, above, right there, I mean, in attic, definitely attic needs insulation there. I mean, or, or something, but I know it's hot in the attic, but it's only, uh, you know, I mean, you can see how hot it is up there. Look at that. Now, if you switch to, if you switch to this, right, you can do different, you can go inverted, right? Right? Now you see inverted, so the black is actually the hot now. The white's actually the cool. Right? And you could also do it this way. Do it this way. So for different different applications, you know, okay. see this one, Aurora, city, low light, lava, medical. It says medical. Huh? <laughs> Pretty neat stuff, man. But I'm definitely looking at the uh, the ceiling here. And where some of the heat sources are. Those see those lights aren't hot, they're LED. But you can see that just from being hot in the attic. You know? My bird. You can see her. Oh huh, Sophie? <laughs> what are you doing, Sophie? Here, let's turn you this way. There you are. Well. All right, so when you download the free app, just plugging in this little device will start the app automatically. All right, and take you right to the app where you can use, um, you can get to your gallery of things you've recorded or, or took pictures of, open the camera, okay? Now, a couple things I want to show you. There's, there's some different uh, scene, you know, filter scenes for different types of heat and lighting. 
for instance, if, if I go to here to filters, you know, I could do black is hot, white is hot. I could do the, the iron red, you know, and you can see what's, I mean, there's, that's my arm there. So here, there. my fingers, right? Or I can do it as, you know, like this. Just depends on depends on the uh, the situation you're in, but different filters, right? And also, what's cool is you can um, draw. Oh, you can do points. Like, let's say you want to put a point here and a point here and a point here. Okay. Now, with different points in a large scale, you can see um, what each temperature is at each point. So you got one here, you got one way up here, right? So point one would be this temperature. Point two would be this temperature, and as things move around in that, you can see it change temperatures at each point, okay? Let's say you're looking at a large circuit board or, or, or a wall of, of telco wiring or a wall of electrical conduit. With all of them together on a 20-foot wall, you can drop points at each individual spot and save that and say, well, here was my, here was my wall, and you know, point one, point two, point three were a normal point four, point five, and you can reference that later. But you could also do it this way. If you want to do a circle, you could draw a circle like this, right? And and in the circle, as things change, you can see point one, point two, and you can add some on, on the points. So really cool for tracking for analysis on large areas, such as like a battery plant. You could do a string of 24 batteries, take a picture of it in that, and then drop a point on each one, and then get a, a point spread of 24 different cells on what temperature they were as you were doing a load test in the entire bank. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you could also draw a line, you can, you can do it as a square and such, okay? Really cool stuff. Uh, as I said, you can you know rotate, you know, mirror scaling, contrast, brightness, all kinds of stuff there, um, and record or take snapshots. So very important if you wanted to you know pull up an image or a video like this, like I did, you know. And you can see, you know, the ceiling fan and, and everything, and and I'll, you know, you saw about that earlier. So, really, really interesting. More than just a, uh, more than just a, a free app that people are calling about. I think this is a pretty neat device. Mm. Now, with the little macro lens, right? Putting on the macro lens gives you a, a smaller field of view for up close. For instance, here is my my ring, right? And you see how that kind of doesn't look too clear right you can't you can't really tell right but now watch this you clip the clip the macro lens on right magnetic now look i can get up close like that okay i could see real up close but your your far away field is very foggy right because it's it's good for circuit boards good for for things like this you know little if i had a circuit board here i'd show you but very up close like that then you take the macro lens off, you can see that you can't really get up close now. All right, so that's what that's for. Great for uh, looking at smaller uh, intricate circuits to see maybe you got a trace that's overheating or something that's burning on a board or a circuit. It'd be really helpful to have that. All right, so pretty cool. In a nutshell, I think this is a really neat device. Um, again, apologize for the delay in making this video. It's uh, Life events come up sometimes. But uh, this is going to actually remain with me at work. I will use this more at work than I will use it at home. I've already got a synopsis, as you can see, of where I want to put some insulation. I already told my wife, she's like, oh, here you go. What are you, a home builder now? No, but I could see that if I get into those two attic accesses above each side of the house, above the vaulted ceiling, I can put some insulation there and just cut down on some of the heat that is coming from the attic, because I know above that hallway and above the kitchen, when you go into the attic, all you're seeing when you're up in there is just drywall on the backside. There is no insulation, just drywall and, and beams. Could I put some insulation there, even spray foam, to keep some of that insul uh, heat from the attic out of the living room? Absolutely. Um, so that's already one good thing I found from this. Remember, the links are in the description. Thank you for the uh, Thermomaster. Uh, for sending me the P2 Pro. It's really cool. And uh, if they come out with anything else cool that you want to show me, maybe they can send it to me and I'll let you guys see it and check it out. But thanks for watching.